You'll recall in the U.S. Open, he beat SVB 11-5. Thank you, Dave. A very important match. Tim, you're safe. So that's going to have to be reconciled here tonight. Take a seat quickly. Yeah, that was in the last 16. Yap played brilliantly, but of course, in the World Cup, it takes two to tango. It's not a singles. Yeah, and it's going to be early situations like this that can really help Singapore get off to a good start, getting some opportunities at the table, even in a rollout position. Great break off there containing the cue ball. And I think he's kind of shored the break up a little bit, that being Shane, and we'll see what happens here in game number one. If I go, if I go here, I can bank the one, two rails. Not the two. Like the cue ball between the two now, come back up. If you like that. Let me put it right here. Mm -hmm. We got 20 seconds. Yeah, I, th I think I would consider the bottom rail here near the two push out, as a push out. All right, push. Push out, Colt. I think I would consider it push. anyways. <laughs> Team Singapore, your choice. Just to remind you, if you've never, ever heard of pool before, right after the break, you can call a push shot. You can put the cue ball anywhere you like, bring the opponents to the table, and they get to decide whether they want to take the shot or they can hand it back to you. So a lot of strategy involved in that. It looks like Singapore wants to take this on. Yeah, it's kind of touchy, but kind of simple to roll past the purple here off the one or come use the purple in some manner. I was a little shocked at the rollout myself, to be honest with you. I thought it was a bit too easy. And I really would have considered the bottom rail there. So often, push-outs can backfire. Prime example there. And this kick is awfully tight, two and seconds. it tells me he can't get by the two ball and come up underneath the one. That would be more desirable here. Yeah, that was always going to spread. Illegal contact. And exactly Ballin what Team Singapore, you might think anyways, <laughs> needs to get off. Please start the clock. And put some pressure on the Americans. Yeah, well, for the USA in this rack so far, not really bad execution, more the confused thinking. Talian Han is the weaker link of the two players in the quarterfinals yesterday against Finland. At times he looked like he was about to implode, technically. But strangely, when it was 6-6, he played his best ball for them to win 9-6. Under the most extreme pressure, he was OK. It was early on he looked more susceptible. Yeah, it looks like he has really come to play today. He took the push shot. He played a beautiful little safety. And now Singapore looks like they're about to draw first blood against the U.S. of A. Well, most of the guys that you can say are a little bit up in years, they depend on a good cue ball. 
And that's where his partner should be, just like a perfect scenario for Han. And that's why I said I don't think we've seen the best from Yap yet, which will reflect on the team's best. And that's a good sign. It's been the extreme ones that Han's had trouble, the delicate and when he needs a little power. When he's in the middle with the swing, it's been pretty good. He did miss a nine ball in the quarterfinals, but he's not missing this, surely. Singapore wins the first one. The underdogs, the number six seeds, take a one-nil lead over the yeah, red-hot favourites, the number two seeds. Singapore won, USA nil. It was all about the push out this. part of the game but but uh, you USA has to have it has to be focused on the push out so important in this tournament's history Singapore have never gone quite so deep they're appearing in their very first World Cup semi-final so far they've beaten Qatar 7-3, Kuwait, a little luckily, 7-6, Bada Alawadi potted a really good two ball in the deciding rack and scratched, that really was cruel, and then in the quarterfinal at 6-6, I thought Finland looked the, the more powerful, but then Singapore reserved their best for when it mattered most. Their previous best before this was a quarterfinal way back in 2007 when the tournament was held in Rotterdam in the Netherlands. The second rack, Team Singapore to break, leading one there. And the man at the table, Tolly and Han, was on that Singaporean team all the way back then. Yeah, Yap would have been, but he couldn't make it. He was at school, he was 11. Touchy little shot here, definitely playable. A little thin though, so speed on the cue ball, that's the important part. Should should gather the line of the cue ball. Couple rails back and forth. Oh, that's perfect. And Han, you know, really one of Yap's mentors and He's definitely going to know how good his partner is. He's not going to do anything silly trying to really move the cue ball a ton. And get a friendly bump. A little on the 50-yard line now. So anytime you're on top of the ball, perspective becomes a little diluted. You have to really trust what you look at. You don't get that, that opening between the cue ball and object ball to... run for the side. Most would just come back for the corner. And I wonder if he was playing by himself if he really moves the cue ball for the side there. Maybe trying to get Han the shorter shot.
extension code. You can tell the nerves are going because really not that difficult overall. Neat and tidy from two players from a neat and tidy country. Singapore lead the USA 2-0 and this is history repeating itself because in the second round the USA were 2-0 down to Poland and won 7-2. They were 2-0 down in the quarterfinals yesterday to Switzerland then ran five racks ended up winning 9-5. Yeah, and I'm sure Dimitri hasn't forgotten that one ball on the side in that corner. One really to the middle pocket, and after that, I'm not going to say it was one-way traffic, but the USA really got involved and always looked the, the more powerful team. As I was saying, this is their fifth semi-final appearance. Of the previous four, they've won three, but their only title came in 2008. Can they scratch a 14-year itch? Shane Van Boning was one of the winning duo when they achieved glory. The other one was Rodney Morris. What a great player. The third rack. Singapore to break. Leading the match to a nil. <laughs> this has been an issue for Yap a couple of times. He's lost the cue ball, so can't have that. Again, a great starter here for Team Singapore. A little in between. You know, I may just roll this ball in, let Yap shoot from a little more distance. Cues down on the ball a little bit. He's, makes it a hair more missable. I'll tell you what, he came up off the shot, but delivered a nice one. He's got a warm demeanor, Aloysia Schaap, very respectful. Must be a, a dream partner, because apart from anything else, he's wonderfully skilled. And just look how delicately both the Singaporean players hold their cues, just like they're holding hands with a tiny little baby. Well, it looks like he's got to rub the eight in one manner or another, trying to decide. It's got to be on the light side, I would think. You don't want to knock it to the top rail. That'll do. And these have been important. Position on the nine. You don't want to rest near the rail when the nerves are high. In 
the first rack, the USA push-out didn't go according to plan. Shortly afterwards, Shane Van Boning failed to escape from a snooker. Thank you, Lee. Fourth rack. Team Singapore is leading the match by three racks to nil, and they will break. Marcel Icart tells us it's time to start rack four. Welcome back to the Brentwood Centre, the International Hall, which has housed the work of a pool this week. So much for my pre match prediction about the strength of the USA. Look at this for Singapore. Two break and run outs from them in succession. And now the potential for a third. Yeah, potential is an understatement here, Phil. And really the first shot, you can see everything else pretty near each other. With the four over the side, five over the opposite. A little work from the five to the and six, but the seven's near. That always makes things a little easier. And I'll tell you. Kind of felt like it was going to be Singapore's best match with opportunity, but I'll tell you, I, I didn't know if it'd sit them down this much this early, that being the Americans. So you're saying roadmap, Jeremy? 
Go on site. I guess it's been a couple of days, so we're allowed. You know, this is this is pretty playable. And again, so far, well, this is going to be under hit a bit. So we'll see. It's going to end up with an angle. And he's close to it, but should be okay. But I think also Yap is, knows he's got to bring his best game. And, you know, champions, what they do is they have that talk with themselves like no others. And he's been on point so Extension, far. Extension, please. Yeah, Aloysius Yap before every game does a very deep visualization. He probably didn't visualize a fly, but he tries to visualize everything else that could possibly happen in a match. He's been really working on his mental game, and it, it shows. Well, that was an enormous sneeze on the backswing from someone in the audience. <laughs> Made Marcel Eckhart laugh. Yeah, definitely a much smoother. Totally in Han so far. Not really the quick stroke and causing any problems with contact on the object balls. It's been pretty clean. And I'll tell you, they continue to get breaks after, or shots after their break. Uh, Americans could be sitting for a while. I tell you, it's a cruel game, a game of pool. You make one push, that doesn't lock somebody up, and they got a 4-0 lead against you before you see another chance at a ball. Yeah, that push out. It not only was a little easy with the cue ball, but he also had cover putting the one in a good place, so most likely always going to hit it well. And that's what happened in the taking four games since. The last positional shot from Tolian Han came up a little short for a right-hander, but for a left-hander it was no problem. The nine ball dispatched, and how about this? Not just the fact Singapore are 4-0 ahead, it's the way it's been achieved. Total domination so far. It's not so bouncy, it's not so bouncy, but you are, you are like the last well, the Americans have played very... And it seems like Singapore is trying to do the same thing. Before the start, if you'd said, well, USA could win this 9-4, fair enough. That's what they've got to do from here. See if it's right. Singapore to break, leading fun. But they have to win 9-4 from here. If they give away another... Five racks, that's that. Yeah, the two balls coming towards the middle. Pretty clear as well. Oh, the seven. No, they're okay. We'll see if the four passes the five. That could make things, if it doesn't, that could make things a little odd getting from the three to the four, even though the four's near. And now you don't really want to get on the wrong side of the four. 
to where you have to come three cushions off the and four back to the five. Him. So he may play into the nine here. That's a good camera view. The four doesn't pass. So got to manufacture something a little bit here. A slight bump on the on the nine. Oh, he didn't bump it. And he may have gotten the premium spot for the four. We'll see. Extension call. The thick hit is what brought him by the nine without contacting it. And this is that three rail position shot I was talking about. Can he ease this in? I think he can. But he does have the angle to come three rails. And this is the question mark with Han when he thinks he needs a little power, can he settle himself? Well, it's a lot easier to settle yourself when you're four zero up. Good point, Raleigh. Foul so he, he didn't get what he wanted Fall on the net. cue ball. Settled himself all the way into the that corner pocket. That is a big break for Team USA. They have got to use this to put a pack on Singapore. And just maybe didn't have as much right English as I thought. I thought he got the cue ball to a good point on the side rail. And one thing that, of course, Singapore can leave that mistake behind a little bit because of the, the lead, but Stop. bringing Team USA to the table off of such a big mistake. We'll see how that plays. Has the scratch from To Lian Han rolled out the welcome mat for the USA to come charging in into contention? A rack is on the board. That's the yep. starting point that they needed. To be on an available ball if they can get a little bit luck in that regard they are so good they can turn this deficit into a lead very quickly well what i've seen so far on the break of course our right rail as viewers but the left rail for the players Seems to me breaking pretty well, as long as you're not trying to crush them too much. I think you're actually getting better spreads if you're going like 75, 80%. Rack six, Team USA to break, trailing four one. tracking nicely got a kiss there so it may slow USA down here playing an offensive shot to start it is cuttable but can he really predict some position Jeremy just heard Sky say I thought it was going to be perfect Yeah, this isn't past cutting at, to be honest with you. You can come some four rails inside the seven back for position. Yeah, a little awkward queuing with the bridge, though. Anytime you're queuing on the side rail like this, 
Yeah, you're kind of there's not there's a lot of wobble in the queue, you might say. So you're kind of on a downward angle. He tried to shoot that shot I was talking about and kind of possibly get past to leave things a little tougher, but I think the biggest shot in the match right now on this one ball. After a miss like that, to see the one ball come to rest where it has. That really yeah. is a, a slice of fortune. Yeah, you can kind of see the stick slip on his thumb a tiny bit, but on these tight pockets, all you need is a tiny bit. He got very lucky to leave the one ball Stay right on that you. rail. Up to you. Yeah, I don't know how comfortable Sky is with the extension on a shot like this, but it'd be hard for me to tell him anything other than go ahead and bank this one ball in and let's get started. Needs money in the bank, Woodward. What a great asset to have, Jeremy. Reliable time and time again with that kind of shot. Yeah, well, I mean, when you think about percentages on safeties and how well he is under pressure with the bank shot, it's almost like something like a crutch, you might say, for Skyler at times. Talk to Skyler and Shane prior. And Shane said he felt pretty good. And Skyler said he said felt real good, so the opportunity I think the Americans will get the job done it's just a matter of that opportunity and what Singapore has to say about it
It was 4-0 Singapore. Then that. Scratching on the four ball in the next rack. Noisha Schiap overcut the one. Woodward produced a length of the table bank. And now the USA, who were inactive for most of the first four racks, the find South themselves break, USA right back in this. Trailing Fortune. With the great SVB to get things underway in the seventh. Well, if you ask Shane, that's been his mistake with the cue ball. It's losing it a little bit down below the rack. And of course, it's not as bad as a scratch, but a lot of times it doesn't produce much for you. And all the Americans are at the table. I'd like to wish all the fathers back in the USFA a happy Father's Day. I'm sure there's many up rooting for these two guys. Yeah, I should try to get the cue ball down there. And a happy Father's Day to you, Jeremy. So you hit. Thank you. Thank you, Raleigh. Don't thin the ball. Yeah, like this. Yeah. Well, Always coincides with the final round of the, the US Open golf, doesn't it, Jeremy? And I'm sure you won't be watching that tonight. Like that, yeah. I'll be watching it with everything I, that I down. have, but nothing more intently than this pool. Once it, the pool is done, and this is an awkward shot here. Anytime, again, you're close to it, you get a feel of how much am I going to move the one. The cue ball's not that bad of a, uh, not that hard of a thing to predict right there, but really controlling the speed on the one now is the ticket looks to me he can kind of get in between the seven nine with a lot of spin come up underneath the one eh, maybe not i don't know it's a long ways to carry that spin and really predict how it's going to come off looks like the best kick to me extension though. please Oh, yeah, another quirk of the doubles format is your whole team comes to the table and you can make a call who wants to take the shot. And this uh, this way actually looks better to me, not only to hit it, but if you catch it somewhat, you know, half a ball or whatever, you send the one over behind the pink and use the six to slow the cue ball down. So it's pretty, pretty light speed here overall. Medium-ish at the most. Yeah, you hit it just right. Just right. Good shot, Han. Well, he left a bank on, and Sky is so super good at banks. Yeah, hard to get position, though. I mean, you could maybe follow your ball here. If you're really feeling, you know, good about the table, maybe you can follow on the path of the one. But I got to believe it's going to be some type of safety. This is going to get away from him. I didn't. I'm really lucky that they can see the two ball in a very kind of. I don't even know how to describe it, really. It's kind of like maybe lost his focus there for a moment. Okay, thank you. Bank it. Go for it. Yeah, Skyler's so good at banks that even when he's not trying to bank it, he actually Extension. Extension banks calls. it right in the dead center of that pocket, too. Looks like they're attacking on another long reller from Sky. Now this one here, he's got to kind of ease a little bit. Not super soft, but you won't see a ton of speed on this one. And he caught the double kiss. You're going to see Singapore now up with a big pocket on the two with the six being there. So very very much a ball i don't think he can ever miss it was this pocket he missed the one and two in the last rack but i can't imagine this one will go astray at a light speed and we caught a lot of rubber and awkwardly enough 
One thing that an issue with that, some of all of us can lose a little bit out there on the pool table is our physical side. We can swing the cue poorly or whatnot, but one thing you don't see be is losing it mentally a little bit. And I think it's happened twice already in this match. The rollout in the game number one, and then the safety there to to open this match. I mean, this game, excuse me. Yeah, my mistake. That was SVB on that accidental bank shot. This is the wild card, though. It's totally on hand. He can miss anything. Okay, he's spotted the last couple of balls he's knocked in, but they've both been taking full advantage of every nook and cranny of the jaws. You're right, though, about SVB. I think he's disgusted with the, the way things are going. I've been watching him in his chair, and he seems really disenchanted. For him not to be mentally zoned in is wholly uncharacteristic. And a funny little play there. I think again another shot that he would have shot differently playing singles coming above the seven for the seven in the corner. Trying to get Han the short shot and I think at times that can get the best of you. That was pretty pure. We could have a brand new name on this World Cup of Pool Trophy, you know. The reason for that, Spain are into the final for the first time. Singapore are more than halfway to making their debut in the final. The USA have got a lot to think about. Maybe struggling, starting to struggle a little bit with a few balls being pocketed. Yeah, but Aloysius and Han are making a pretty good team. And Phil, you were mentioning this the other day. Uh, Aloysius and Han actually won the Southeast Asian Games back in 2017. And they were able to take down Filipino legends Warren Cho and Dennis Orcoyo. So they know what it's like to be under pressure, and they know what it's like to be able to close the door. Yeah, there's Van Boning looking glum. This is the toughest workout the USA have had. They beat Canada 7-1, Poland 7-2, Switzerland 9-5. Looks like today they're going to be fully extended or something pretty close. Yeah, that Southeast Asia game is a huge event for those countries. and. We actually missed both of these two guys. They opened because of the Southeast Asian Games, and that shows you how important it is. They would have certainly been there in London otherwise. You can't ask for much more than that on the break, and these guys are getting shots, taking advantage of mistakes. Good length in this lead. a perfect shot every time. Yeah, we talk about how Han might not quite be up to the pocketing that Aloysius is. He has been deadly on the break. Yeah, a little straight. The right hand, bridge hand over the nine a bit. So he's got to hit this pure with a draw stroke to hold the line and get the spin. Oh, he's going to love that. When the balls came to rest, I don't know whether you heard Sky Woodward say they're getting a shot on the one every time. It was a statement tinged with envy. Yeah. 
pool players, we make comments like that to ourselves sometimes. Sometimes you can hear them, but these guys have got to stay focused and wait to pounce when they get an opportunity. And hats off to Singapore so far. They've limited those opportunities. Go all the way down. He's yeah, telling them to go all the way five. down because it is okay. fairly yeah. foolproof. You're going to get off the rail for the five on the side. Plus, you can play the seven up long if you need. So there's really no bad place on the five. The key is don't get thin on the five. Make it missable. That's okay. Cue ball off the rail. Like I said, the seven goes easily up in the corner, so. No, no reason to fret. And you got a guy that's got a pretty darn good cue ball here. Shaft won the 2014 World Junior oh, Nine Ball yeah. Championship. In this partnership, not in terms of age, but in terms of career achievement, he's definitely the senior partner. He knocks in that nine ball, and the troubles for the USA only mount. How about this? Singapore, the number six seeds, have six racks on the board. To the USA's two. And I think that's with four breaking runs, Phil. Is that correct? It is. That's the way to do it against, you know, what would be a pretty heavy favorite here in this semifinal, even though it is a sixth seed in Singapore. USA, they kind of speak for the, themselves, these two, and the way they played kind of makes that, uh, that line on the match pretty accurate. And now from here, the task is getting more and more difficult for the USA. They have to win from this point, 7-2, 7-1 or 7-0. Capable, but you don't want to cock a, a snook at the, the law of averages, which tells you right now, Singapore began as underdogs. Currently, they're favorites. The ninth right. Team Singapore to break, leading by six racks to two. And they've really contained the rock well and getting a big, big reward for it. Shots after the break and. <laughs> These are sitting pretty sweet. Four balls spotted by Singapore than their, their opponents. Yeah, he'll want to draw a Above the three here because you want to get below the four. You don't want to have to deal with the eight ball at all when getting on the five. Yeah, that's enough. Should be able to stun the ball to the bottom rail. And yeah, that 
that's perfect. He's got a choice here. He can zigzag the cue ball or come with top inside. A little preference here. Aloysius just looking at it like he wanted it a little closer to the six, but his partners played very well, even on that big scratch earlier. It was just the cue ball wasn't you know, missing a ball, which has been an occasional problem for Han. Still concerned here, though. Still concerned. <laughs> Have a little faith, Phil. This is totally on Han we're talking about. They narrowly avoided an early exit to Kuwait, 7-6 in the second round, but they're looking like heavy favorites. And this has gotten away from Something on. Aloysius yep. well, a little bit. The cue ball will be clean. Marcel. <laughs> and that's useful because when a cue ball is cleaned, it doesn't mean the clock is stopped. But they had their extension in hand, and so they were able to to do that leisurely. Okay then, what a story this is. Five breaking runouts for Singapore. They are so. Okay, competition time, competition time. Have a little bit of fun with this one. I need two dads. That's what I need for this competition, to win a sign nine ball, which would be great. There's a dad here. Yes, come on down. I need one more dad. Preferably, yes, yes, with children in the building. Right, come down, sir, come down. Right, I need to kind of find you a little bit of space. Right, you can go on this side over here, right here in this space over there for me, please. And if you can go on that side for me, sir, you've got no clue what you put yourself up for. Come round here, this way, round here, round here, round here. Cool, what we're gonna do, because dads, right, they're notoriously bad dancers, apparently. So we're gonna have a little bit of a dance contest, right? And the crowd is gonna decide who's gonna be the winner. We've gotta be quick. Sir, you're gonna go first. Yes, whatever song plays, just do your best, mate. Are we ready? DJ Carl Kennedy, drop the first track for me, please. Here we go. Here we go! Get behind him now, there we go, that's not bad! He's got a bit of room, he's got a bit of room. There we go! Alright, okay, there we go, wheel that one back here, Carl Kennedy, that's a good first start. Right, dad number two, your chance to shine. Are you ready? DJ Carl Kennedy, three, two, one, here we go! Come on, dad, you gotta dance! Let me see those moves, he's gone for the fist bump boxing moves. Okay, okay, all right, DJ Carl Kennedy, crowd, you've got to decide who the winner is, okay? Make some noise, if you think this dad's the winner, let me hear you. Oh, okay, yeah. Now make some noise if you think this dad's the winner. <laughs> we have a winner, let's give them both a big round of applause. Congratulations, happy Father's Day, enjoy the nine ball, here we go.
Thank you. It's rack number 10. Team Singapore is leading by seven wrecks to two and will break. Never been so happy to return from a commercial break. In between racks, we had a, a dad dancing competition. I can tell you folks, it wasn't pretty. Well, not the shots they've been getting, but still not, not terrible, this one-two combo, and he certainly should shoot at it. I think, anyways. It's not much of a cut onto the two. So without a ton of speed, the one's going to trickle off the two if he pockets it. But not a whole, whole lot. And I wonder with a high ball, does he carry into the nine ball and the five and maybe the one drift down a bit? Could shoot it with some speed, I guess, and draw the ball, but you're really not going to predict the one ball or the cue ball that well. It's taking a little extra time because sometimes combinations, it's hard to really get the, you know, the bead on them, right? So. I think the big lefty would like to float this in. What a combo and what a position. This, this is the man I think we expected to see at this tournament. Okay, the must pass in the lower left. And I'll tell you, Han has really smoothed the stroke out. He's really a lot better with the timing today than we've seen in the past matches. And it wasn't terrible. It's just really improved today, though. Hey, Jeremy, you talk about timing. Can you quickly explain that? Because I think my timing is uh, all off. Well, it's just the flow of the swing. It's seen in every sport. And it's just, you know, in pool, we're not going for maximum power. We're going for effortless power. And that's what timing really produces. And, yes. You know. When it's easy on the eyes, that's kind of how when it's pretty good timing, I guess. That's short of the mark, but that's okay. Again, we talked about if you're not going to get past the seven, you're better to end up short and creating a little more angle, which makes the cue ball travel a little easier, this three rails around for the eight. Now speed control is important. If Han gets flat and somewhat on the rail here, this makes a very missable ball. And that looks like where it's kind of going. Not bad. I think the key here, Jeremy, is not to try and do too much. Just knock it in and rely on Yap. You okay? Yeah, and Yap has steered his partner. Ooh, I, I don't know why he's elevating exactly. I thought Yap told him, just get me up by that side pocket and I'll cut it in. Oh, he's feeling he's feeling just fine. And that's what I mean about timing. You saw how much he got out of the cue ball off of a small angle. Oh, no. Oh, my. You saw it on the delivery. He didn't Actually, like it. Our chance. Uh, I told you. Scarlett Woodward providing his own commentary. He said, this is our chance. And then he goes to the table and knocks in an absolutely formality of a nine ball. Is that the turning point we've been looking for, I wonder? It should have been a two. Singapore should have been breaking on the hill. But to everyone's surprise, it's Yap who misses the nine. And there was no way Woodward was going to fail in his duty there. 
7-3, and all of a sudden, Shane Van Boning is smiling, sitting up in his chair, realizing this is far from over. Yeah, no problem. We'll wait, we'll wait, no, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. Are you sure? Get some wood, but they say yeah, they I think that ball five. goes in on 99.9999% of tables. But this particular table, especially that pocket, we've seen so many nine balls missed on that pocket. It is just so tiny, and the slate is so far into the pocket. You gotta get it all the way down the throat if you want that ball to drop. I was talking earlier on about Min Wang in Shanghai in the semi-final against Austria. China B looked like making the final, making it an all-Chinese final. Thank you, the 11th rank. Min Wang USA is trailing by seven ball in the jaws of the pocket. It was a shot he will never forget. Maybe that's a shot that a lawsuit will never be allowed to forget. A couple kisses on cue ball, a lot of congestion it looks like, and is the one hey, going to get hey. bumped up in play? I think it is. So a friendly bump right there from the pool gods, and <laughs> I'll tell you, as a pool player, anytime your opponent still needs two games, you really think anything is possible. I mean, it's amazing once they get on the hill how mentally it can get to any of us, but like I said, when they still need two, he's got to gamble a little bit here, maybe draw into the three six. Oh, he's going to try and edge off the seven and move the cue ball. Yeah, I was wondering about that. With the three six there, I thought he may draw into the three six. And try and really open the cue ball up. Now, not only has he got to be really accurate coming across short side on the three, but if he gets kind of straight with the six and the seven there, it could be tough to get on the five. All right. I don't know if Shane will shoot at this. Reflecting their precarious position, just keeping things tight, putting a lid on things. Extension, Extension please. Yeah, if you're Singapore, though, after making such a huge mistake, biggest mistake of the tournament so far, you might say, you got to love getting back to the table, even though you're kicking at the ball. And this is something the guys should have learned a little bit here. You don't want a high ball here. You want to hit more center, that way it'll hold its line. Jeremy, that's something you've been preaching all week from the very first session. And every time you're right. Please start the clock. Yeah, center ball. The ball's a little more flat. It won't take that hook spin like the top English will. And just, uh, you almost have to remind yourself when you're kicking on the slick table, you. You go your entire life kicking on different tables, and this one here is uh, just takes a little adjustment. Doesn't have much angle here. I'm wondering if he just go forward and play the six up long.
know that was an easy shot, but I still feel like Shane's struggling just a hair. Fucking bug. Oh. Apologies for any language you might have heard there. Apparently an insect flew Love just as he played the shot and moved. That's why he was all over the place, concentration shattered. Woodward does not miss eight balls like this for no reason. Well, what happens is, Phil, is Singapore's done everything they could to put, apply the pressure and America knows they couldn't afford a mistake and that's where pressure mounts. Yep, missed the nine ball in rack 10, but Tolly Anhan does not miss it in the 11th. They've got to the hill a little later than we thought they might, but nevertheless, Singapore are now in firm command of this match. The 50-year-old and the runner-up in last year's US Open find themselves 8-3 up on Team USA. Yeah, just a rare miss in this type of situation, especially when the moments are largest this man usually buries those types now i was very impressed with this shot not only as clean as he hit it but the way he played it he, he went ahead and depended on his partner to bury a nice long nine ball kept the eight simple and that's a smart play by aloysius yeah sky woodward fell into a fly trap and now of course singapore get the break back and it's worked well for them they've broken run five times in this match rolly and it should have been six because yaps missed nine ball might well have completed half a dozen break and run outs well it might be father's day but yap owes everything to his mom of his own interview he was mentioning he saw pool on a tv show Asked his mom to take Rack him to a pool hall, Team and Singapore the rest is, is history. He became three. Singapore's first world number one, and he's about to break for Singapore's first spot in a World Cup final. But it's never easy, is it? The eight ball came down to spoil the party. Now this looks like a classic break from Team USA, this match. Team USA never had a real look at a one ball, and Singapore never really didn't have a look at a one ball. So there's one more twist in this match. Or more than one. Might be hundreds of twists in this match. Pool is extremely unpredictable. Yeah, here with the lead, eight to three. Of course, winner break format. So we always have to keep that in mind. But you don't want to roll out like extremely difficult to where it's like they're going to give it back and you're way up against it. Of course, you always want to roll out difficult. But even if it's a soft safety that leaves a say, somewhat nice. easy kick shot, that's okay if you're Singapore. Gonna and the even, vice versa, meaning even if yeah. USA can play a soft safety on you and you get a decent kick shot, that's okay also. Just don't want something silly to give up ball in hand or, or, or a very easy uh, opportunity to get started for USA.
just like right here. I don't think he got the snooker. We'll see. But even if he did, it's a not hard kick shot to maybe pocket it, kick save, do something like that. I think he can get at this, though. Oh, definitely. Now, this is uh, how you feeling. You want to chip it with inside and try and use the five and eight coming back up. Key to this one, don't worry about the one so much. Just play the cue ball. with that. I think you can do the same thing. Well, let me see, let me see. Yeah. Keep all right here. Okay. Must have left a lot more of the Extension. one than I thought Extension. to where he can apply right English here and not worry about deflecting into the five. Sometimes you can see the ball, but you'll get fooled when you're applying the English. One could could get behind the three here as well. Well, he put the cue ball exactly where Shane asked him to. We'll see how it works out. Got to believe you like Singapore from here, though. A couple options on the safety. He can chop the one underneath the three and the nine and run the cue ball back into position where it's at now if he wants. Or he can play off the opposite side of the one trying to put the cue ball behind the three and the nine. That looks like gin to me. And again. Don't know if that was the best option from Team USA on that safety with the no, three, nine, good. and two there. He could have edged a one playing a similar yes. safety as Yap did seconds. here earlier. And now Singapore's got way the best of it. Found stroke. Ball in. Jeremy, when the hook was laid, yeah. you said that could be gin. Please stop it. Now, after the the foul shot, it could be champagne. Yeah, they got to play a pretty smart shot here getting on the two. They can get out in the center of the table and cut the three. But you would think they'd want a little easier shot on the three because you do have to get on a four ball across the table. So I'd get nice and close two ball, I think. Five having both the upper corner and the lower corner. I think he can roll forward here comfortably and get a little bit of a thin cut on the on the three, but okay, I think. Just go forwards maybe five, six inches. Uh, he got up on top of it, and that's not gonna work. I don't know if he really made a decision where he was going with the cue ball, to be honest with you. And the good thing is if you play it a little shorter and you don't get position on the three, you can always bang okay. the three away and plant him behind the nine. Smart shot. Make, make USA earn it when the pressure's on them. What do you think? Yes, they're on the brink of defeat, aren't they? Woodward you can and that ball over here. here. Cue ball come down here. I'll scratch. I gotta hit the side. I ain't got no time. I think Woodward's shooting.
that was a clutch shot. They're all out of extension. Skyler didn't like it, and yet he just buries it. Well, that five's going to bounce a little bit, so they're going to get a thin cut to win this match and get to the finals. The seven over the upper corner, the eight over the side. And Han has made a few of these thin ones. Key to this again, stay smooth with it. Pretty big pocket from this angle. Perfect. From Raffles Hotel to Sentosa Island, Singapore, about to celebrate. Team Singapore went to right. <laughs> Extraordinary result, and also the way it was achieved. A couple of mistakes in there from Aloysius Schiap and from Tony Ahan, but they broke in line five times, held themselves together really well under pressure. For me, it was a below par performance from the United States, there was no doubt about that. But what an upset! Okay, they're the number six seed, Singapore, but. Very surprisingly, they are in the final to take on Spain for the World Cup title.